Hello Aries. Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Let's do a quick vibe check to see what messages are coming towards you. Aries, the divine is saying that you have an auspicious good omen that is currently around you. It is important for you to make your wishes known to the divine because you're currently working with positive energies. So claim the energies that are here and comment 1111 in the comment section below. Let's have a look to see what the next card is all about. The next card is wanting you to know that it is important for you to share your spiritual gifts. So for some of you, you're currently thinking maybe of starting your own YouTube channel. For some of you, you're starting to think about how you can make your own money through your own hands. The divine is saying that it is time for you to step up and it is time for you to start sharing your spiritual gifts because in doing so, you're going to receive many blessings. The divine is saying that for some of you, you've been thinking about sharing your gifts and your talents and you have been seeing angel numbers. This is a confirmation that you are on the right path. When you're thinking about sharing your talents and your skills, do it. Stop overthinking the process. Everything will fall into place because I can feel that for some of you, you're overthinking the process and you're not starting. Just get started and you see that you will figure it out as you're going along. So the divine is saying that the angels numbers that you're currently seeing Aries, they have a meaning and it is important for you to understand what the meaning is all about. Look at the meaning that is here that we already spoke about where we were talking about you seeing angel numbers. The divine gave you a confirmation of 1111 and the divine is telling you again, it is important for you to make your wishes known to the divine because there's something positive that is coming towards you. Maybe you can comment the angel numbers that you're currently seeing and see if other people are seeing the same numbers. What we are now going to do, Aries, we're going to get some tarot cards on the table to elaborate more on the messages that we are receiving for you. And as I'm getting your tarot cards, I want you to remember that I do cord cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to sender ceremonies. If you just feel that maybe there is some bad luck around you, if you just feel that maybe there is just some dense and heavy energies around you, maybe I can recommend a spiritual cleanse. Either way, go on my website and have a look to see all the services that I offer. Go and be curious and see what is calling out to you. So Aries, what we're going to do now, we're going to look at the bottom of the deck to see what you currently are not seeing at the moment. The divine is saying to you again, what you're currently not seeing at the moment is that when you start sharing your gifts and your talents, you are going to feel that there is this divine upgrade around your money, around your health, around your feel good factor. The divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently sitting on your talents and your gifts. And you're busy trading your time for money when the divine has already gifted divine gifts to you. So the divine is saying, close your eyes, connect with your guides and your ancestors and ask for assistance. Because like I mentioned to you, you are going to be going on a journey. There are new beginnings that are auspicious. And these new beginnings are being confirmed by the energies of the page of swords. As you can see, the energies of the Page of Swords, you are going in a new direction. You are learning, you are growing, and your guides and your ancestors are around you as you are shifting from one situation, as you're shifting from one way of thinking into a new way of thinking, where you're sharing what it is that you know already. So for some of you, maybe you're wanting to be a tarot reader, but you don't know how to get started on my website, there's also a tarot reading course for those of you who are wanting to learn. So I really feel that there's a growth that is here where the divine is saying that again, the message is loud and clear. When you share your talents and your gifts, you are going to see yourself being seen. You're going to see yourself being rewarded. You are going to see yourself being center stage. 
So maybe you start sharing your gifts, your talents, and suddenly you're going viral. Suddenly people are starting to appreciate what it is that you offer, what it is that you bring to the table. Because as you can see, the energies of the six of wands, you are here being celebrated. You're here being seen. Some of you, maybe you're good at singing. Some of you, maybe you're good songwriters. Whatever way your talents and your skills are presenting themselves to you, the divine is saying that it is time for you to step up. It is time for you to shine. It is time for you to be seen. And in doing so, like I already told you, there are going to be some major upgrades that are going to be coming towards you because you're going to see that your money, your resources, your wealth is certainly going to grow. So the divine is saying that again, I cannot emphasize this enough to you. This is an auspicious time for you. And this is indeed an auspicious sign to say to you, get started. And don't doubt yourself because there's something major that is going to be happening in a positive way. Because remember, your angels are speaking to you, your guides and your ancestors are speaking to you, and they are wanting you to understand that it is time for you to get started now. The time is now. Don't overthinking. Stop overthinking. Stop doubting yourself. Just start doing and the rest you will learn along the way, as you can see with the energies of the Page of Swords. So you can see that with our first tarot card, the card that you received was the energies of the Ace of Swords. The energies of this Ace of Swords is connected to your mind. You're going to be figuring out along the way. The energies of the Aces are new beginnings. And we already spoke about this being an auspicious sign, especially when you start sharing your gifts and your talents. This is the sign that it is time for you to get on the saddle and it is time for you to shine. It is time for you to be seen, to be recognized. And again, the divine is saying, don't lose yourself in thought, just spiraling out of control in that energy of doubting yourself. Because everything will work out just fine as you're, stepping, as you're taking its step. You're going to be seeing that you are going to be figuring out things along the way. So this is the powerful message, Aries, that the divine wanted to share with you. And for those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, let's go and do some magic. Let's go over there now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multi-millionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025 we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping 
into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline and as you are pouring the water into the next cup into that empty vessel see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality just feel and infuse this new quantum leap infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory so we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving. Ashe.